Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Seda, if you didn't already know, and I make videos all about my life living with chronic kidney disease stage 5 on dialysis. And this is so weird. How many people watch me? There's a lot of people at the park today. So this month, I think it was actually three months without blood work. And that's because that's how we do it on my dialysis unit. Disclaimer, I'm not a dietitian. I'm just here to talk about my experience and what's been happening with me and just to give you guys awareness that you should try to get to know your blood work better so you can feel better while you're on dialysis. I've been eating horrible and it came out in my blood work obviously. So I got to talk with my dietitian and she's like you know you did alright last month but this month it wasn't that great and if you guys don't go over your um, like your blood work with your nurse or your dietitian then you can always ask i'm sure that they'll go over it with you they did give me a kidney friendly shopping list to go through so it goes through like desserts vegetables fruits cereals if you guys like it, there's pages and if you guys want me to go through each one of them like i can make a video on each of them it is going to be a little boring because i'll be talking most of the time but i think it'd be great just for you guys to know what you can have as a you know kidney dialysis patient this shopping list is not diabetic friendly just because it's i'm not diabetic so they gave me the non-diabetic one i'm gonna be here a while until the wind really goes away huh so today i'm gonna talk to you guys about my blood work obviously that's what i'm here for today my potassium and my phosphorus that I'm, the numbers i'm about to tell you guys that is unacceptable okay that's eating horrible okay let's get started so i'm gonna start with phosphorus the amount of phosphorus that's supposed to be in your body it's 1.0 to 9.0 this month for me it was 3.1 and last month it was 2.4 which obviously or like not not last month but last blood work obviously it was climbing up which is horrible again i have no excuse the foods that you get phosphorus from is milk dairy chocolate which i was having a lot of as well like reese's pieces they're my favorite peanuts stuff like that what they're doing to make it lower is actually taking a calcium carbonate I, yeah calcium carbonate pills to try to not only increase my calcium but also the calcium takes out the phosphorus that's in your body with every meal you have so every meal you take you have to take that calcium carbonate which i'm horrible at and i'm trying to work on it okay so that's why i'm making this video so you guys can do things better than i have because again i'm not perfect and i'm making all this documentation for you guys to learn from my mistakes and now if your phosphorus is too low then you can be feeling muscle weakness and difficulty breathing if your phosphorus is too low then you actually consult your dietitian and they will you know give you a sheet of things that you can eat but don't go taking you know phosphorus foods phosphorus high foods just because you think that your phosphorus is low no talk to your dietitian first if your phosphorus is too high you start feeling itchy which is one of the symptoms that i've been having like itchiness non-stop it's gotten better because I've been taking the calcium carbonate and I've been eating less of the phosphorus foods. Another symptoms that you can have is that your bones may break easily. <sighs> the potassium I'm so embarrassed about because this was the highest it's ever been. And I'm beating myself down because I should have known. I know better. I've been on dialysis for five years. And you know what? I tasted certain things and I'm like, oh, I want more of this. I want more of that. And that's basically how it started so you do have to watch okay let's just let's just get started I'm getting too comfortable now I don't even care who's watching but okay amount that's supposed to be in your body is 3.5 to 5.0 guess what mine was at just, just guess I'll give you like two seconds mine was a 6.7 you know I'm not even I'm not laughing because it's bad I'm just embarrassed and I just can't believe it and I'll tell you why this is a bad number okay obviously I said it's between 3.5 to 5 and mine was a 6.7 the three months ago when they, the last blood work that we had mine was a 5.3 so it was just a little bit above it was like you know you should know to eat less bad stuff I obviously didn't and now the foods that have high potassium is like bananas kiwis oranges papayas mango 
stuff like that and for vegetables is tomatoes spinach any tomato product by the way and i love pasta so that's what i was having a lot of too uh, spinach any dark leafy greens which sucks because if you know i have two little bunnies and what they eat is dark leafy greens so when i buy dark leafy greens it's good for me and good for them because we're i don't have to buy extra stuff for myself or for them but um, it's obviously bad for me so i can't have that anymore uh, avocados avocados and bananas are my favorite and i can't have them potatoes i love potatoes now a trick to having potatoes is if you do want potatoes is you do have to double boil them it sucks but it, they're basically mashed potatoes okay but i mean some of us just want to have a little bit of fries here and there you know but then again i would say splurge a little bit if your blood work is good you can splurge a little bit but don't go off the railing because that is not good obviously and i'm going to tell you why again in in a little bit okay so then continuing with the vegetables potatoes yams and winter squash and other words can be like dairy products and whole grain products nuts chocolate and some salt substitutes like substitutes like um half 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 is potassium and salt mixed together now if it's too high you obviously have to eat less potassium foods anything that i mentioned and if it's too low your dietitian will you know let you know if you actually have to eat like a banana or two or you can have something of whatever you like of that's potassium high in potassium but just because you see that your potassium is low don't go on and eating potassium foods again consult your dietitian now this is where why potassium is bad for you at least the high levels of potassium is your heart can actually stop all of a sudden and that's the most scariest thing that i've read so far that i've heard something i don't want to experience obviously i don't want to die that's why it's such a important thing to check your blood work or at least to know what your blood work is at so you can see what your levels are at if you are at 3.5 cool you can splurge on a banana if it's you know 5.3 you know what don't eat the banana this time it's okay maybe, maybe next time like once you really get to know your body and your blood work it gets easier honestly it's just in the beginning trying to learn all of this it, it throws you off a little bit you know it throws you off just a little bit but you're you're fine right after once you really know the lingo i guess yeah I think that's basically it i hope this wasn't a totally totally boring video you know what i'm saying i hope that you guys are doing well it's been it's been a minute since i haven't posted you know i i, I know i'm slacking i'm really really slacking on making videos out here and i'm really sorry comment down below to let me know what kind of videos you guys want to see in the future from me i want to say thank you guys to the new subscribers that i've gotten i never thought that i'd have like five subscribers let alone 160 of you guys and i am so glad that i've been able to help out so many of you and you guys are helping me i've said this before you guys have are helping me just mentally because when i go to my dialysis i'm the only young person there and it just feels kind of discouraging like i shouldn't be there but then when i was at the children's hospital then i felt like i shouldn't be there either because i was too old and yeah i'm just in that in between stage you know so i'm just happy to know that there's a lot of you guys out there that are you know under 50 years old who can relate to me and you guys have so much more experience than i have and i love hearing your stories and even some of you guys who are so much younger you guys have like some crazy stories like kidney related stories and it's uh, you guys are warriors 110 percent sorry guys my camera got cut off right at the very end but i just wanted to say thank you again and i'm uh, so happy that you guys are here to follow the journey and i can't wait to hear yours if you message me on instagram i would love to hear from you guys and i will see you guys in the next video bye